President Trump plans to sign an executive order that temporarily suspends all immigration. Good evening. Thank you for joining us. I'm Brenda Medina. Local 23's Jolani Martinez spoke with one immigration attorney left with questions as details on how the order would be carried out is unclear. But that this should not be any um, time to create panic and fear within our community that uh, nothing has been written yet or at least finished and nothing has been signed. So we need to be patient, we need to review the order, and we need to see how the courts are going to react. President Trump tweeted this last night about temporarily suspending immigration. One of the first questions Attorney Frank Guetta had after seeing the tweet was whether the executive order is constitutional. An executive order is not as strong as a law pa passed by Congress. so. There's going to be a lot of questions, there's going to be a lot of debate, it's going to be taken to court, and the courts are going to have to make the final decision whether this is constitutional or not. Geta understands it's a measure to temper the spread of COVID-19, but wants to know how long the suspension would last. Who gets to decide how long that's going to be? What factors will the administration consider in finding that timeline? of its temporary suspension. Will COVID be the deciding factor of this temporary suspension? It's also unclear who the order is seeking to prevent from immigrating. I can't see why you would want to limit anyone that's dealing with technology and healthcare during a global pandemic. We would want to encourage those. We would want to encourage immigration and those who are uh, knowledgeable in COVID to help us. Guerra also believes reducing immigration would hurt our economy. In McAllen, Jolani Martinez, Local 23 News. The executive order is expected to be signed in the coming days.